All right, I am back. Some of you might have had me for another class. And remember that this is Bogota. I'm in Bogota right now in the middle of the Andes doing some research, going to universities, uh, doing some chalas, etc. Now this is Bogota, as some of you remember because I've used this video before. Uh, I think the backdrop is amazing. This is very professional. There isn't great lighting, but I do think it's kind of amazing to have this uh, backdrop. And this is the most frightening thing right here. Look at these windows. I'm going down like 10 stories if anything happens. And these windows actually open, but I never open them because look at how low it is. You can just fall right over and die. When the wind's blowing, there's like a rainstorm or something like that. Bogota is uh, perpetually cold. Uh, it's pretty frightening up here. But anyways, the point is this is an awesome backdrop to do uh, some videos. Now Bogota, as I mentioned before, is a city of millions and millions of people. It's had its fair share of problems with urban guerrillas. In fact, more recently, Recently, uh, the police station was blown up. Uh, if you're in one of my classes where I do something with the uh, Andino uh, commercial center where there was a terrorist attack, very difficult to understand who and ferret out exactly the perpetrators of this. A lot of uh, petty crime, etc. This is kind of a nicer area of Chapinero where I stay. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the weather is, is cold. Not used to it. It's still used to Arizona. But the point is right now I'm going to uh, explain what we're going to do with one of the videos. Uh, in my classes for SGS and some for POS, I expect a video where you address a global problem. Now, it really depends on the class you take. So, like, I teach a political violence class, so it has to be an NGO or IGO, and I'll go over that, uh, that you basically uh, uh, would like to work for because I'm very policy oriented I want you to start thinking about solving real world problems uh, if you're in the problems and debates class or even in my lower level uh, professional development class I expect you to start looking at areas of work in IGOs and NGOs and even if you're not really interested in it it's really important to understand IGOs and NGOs so really quick an IGO is an international governmental organization like the United Nations, the OAS, that is the Organization of American States, that's made up of governments. Non-governmental organizations are basically organizations that aren't supposed to be part of a government. So therefore they don't have the biases of governments because it's the United States, Russia, etc. They have their own geopolitical interests. Non-governmental organizations are supposed to be free, not always though, of these organizations. So here I am in Bogota. I was just at an NGO, uh, La Corporación Nueva de Arco Iris, that's uh, the new Rainbow Corporation that is actually addressing a lot of the issues uh, with the peace process and getting the former guerrillas in Colombia more incorporated into society they do research etc so you're gonna have to upload a five minute video of yourself you don't have to be like this in a backdrop of anything <laughs> exciting in the middle of the Andes but of an NGO or IGO let's say an NGO that addresses women's issues political violence etc uh, you have to do a little research on that or an IGO like the uh, uh, one of the branches of the United Nations that you think is, is you might want to work for and even if you don't want to work for them something you find interesting that addresses a specific global problem so what you're basically going to do is you're going to find an IGO or NGO that you think addresses an important problem for you and describe what that NGO or IGO is, how it addresses the specific problem, why you think this is a problem that's very important globally oriented, and then, you know, what they've done specifically if they have done anything, or maybe even how they could even improve. So you're going to basically give us a video, just like this video, of uh, a, a detailed analysis of a particular NGO or IGO, and it can be any part of the world 
world, Africa. Uh, you know, when we do global problems, even though it's supposed to be globally oriented, I don't mind if you do something in the United States. Like, for example, an NGO that addresses uh, 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 and helps immigrants in the United States or something like that. So you're really, really open here, but it has to be at least five minutes, and you have to give us a good detail. So it's kind of like we're using now in the online venue, because these classes are online, you know, we still want to get a lot of engagement by the students. So that will be uh, one of the activities of this online class. Now you don't have to move to the country or go to the country like I am here in Bogota, where I just worked, as I mentioned, with an NGO and uh, visited some universities and did a whole lot of things. But this is really cool. So uh, start thinking about this. Uh, and remember, read the syllabus well. Read the announcements of the classes because all the due dates, etc. You don't want to go beyond those. And these classes, online classes, move fast. So you want to start thinking about this activity uh, rather quickly. Now, uh, I'm a little nervous so close to this window. I'm definitely not opening it. Uh, we're about 10 stories up. Uh, I'm surprised more people don't fall out windows here. It's very scary. Uh, but it is a beautiful view of the Andes. Uh, and without further ado, uh, start thinking about this activity now. And uh, please email me if you have any questions. Thanks.